Hello, Rich Doc here. Hey. All right, today what we're going to do, we're going to um, show you how to do System.io to create emails. All right, so I'm going to put myself down in the corner. Now I'm down here. So we're going to go to emails within System.io, newsletters, and first we're going to do, we're going to select create over on the right. And I like to just me personally, I put test because I really don't know what I want to call it. And I always select the classic editor. The visual editor is a whole nother video. It's a little more intricate. And we're going to start, you know, from somebody that's never done this before. So we're going to go with classic and we'd select set, save. I don't know what that was. Now, see, here's test. This is the one that I just recreated. Oh, excuse me. Now we'll edit. So here's our email. Now you can go and you can type in here and spell check and all that stuff. And I do that sometimes, but System.io, I'm just going to a little note, isn't always the best at spell checking and such. So I always create it in a Word document. And then if I spell it incorrectly, Word's gonna let me know and fix it for me. So I've got it all created here. I've got the Word. I went through, corrected any mistakes. So we do a copy here. Do, do, do. All right, we do a copy. Whoop, not right. There we go, copy. Go back to System I.O. Start right from the beginning and do paste and voila, it's there. Look at that. And it's in the order I like. Now you can go see, I, I'm going to make this a little pop a little more in the email. So we're going to do, we're going to select it. We hit your three dots, which will show how to make your font size larger. So we're going to keep it, I'm going to say 18, make that a little bigger. So it pops out a little, you know, that's the beginning. And these are, this is the email that I'm creating. Scroll down. All right. And then we hit enter. So we want to go, here we go. We set the word over there. I always like to finish with something, you know, like my signature type thing. Um, your, your partner in success. Can't spell. And that's why I do the spell check. See? Spelled that wrong. See, see, it will spell check it, but it's not always as accurate as word oh man I can't even all right we got to do this that's crazy wow and me in quotes and I put a little picture I always like to put a little picture or a signature type thing now where we'd go there so see the little picture option up here we'd insert an image and this is going to go to the desktop on the machine or wherever else we go pictures there's a good image we do open it blows me up huge catch the corners and shrink that shrink it shrink it shrink it shrink it shrink it that's got to go much smaller much smaller I don't want to, you know, I, I, it's a good picture, but I don't want the, it to be the entire screen. So, and then up here, we'd select that button and that puts it over there. So, <clears throat> so there's our email. Now, this is the, where I want to put my link. So I would select this option and I'm just going to put anything and then you'd click the little paper clip a job thing here and then you put in the URL HTTPS of wherever 
you're directing people that have opened the email to to the product or service or whatever you want to do I'm not gonna fill this out I'll fill this out later but I'm you'd select that to save now this would be the link to it now you have options over here with the email you could select tags which I'll show you how to do later, create tags. I got a tag, clarity. And you can unselect tags. You can specify each person. I'll, I'll go over the tag. That's a whole nother video, the tags. Now you can do available personal, personalization substitutes. For instance, if I wanted their first name or their email or street address or some of the information that I'm collecting. I don't collect the street address and I, I only collect emails and their name. I don't do the surname or city location, but see if I wanted to, I wanted the email to start with, you know, their first name instead of just hello or some random thing, you could copy this and you could put this at the beginning. And then you paste it and see it's going to have when it when it populates it's going to have their first name it'll automatically go into their email the information you have and put their first name in there so next i want to go over here is the my senders the email what my email is i've already created this now you can do you have oh well i haven't even put in it subject um let's try start an online biz for then a mick donald's donald's meal Let's just repeat what I already there. I don't like this. Let's fix that. Now see, it didn't correct the spelling right there. That is why I like to, you know, I really like to double check and Then put some explanation points just for, you know, shits and giggles. <laughs> now this here, I want to change the font on that. I want to click here. We want to make it a little larger. I'm going to go with 16. Or no, I did the rest at 18, I believe. Well, we're going to go 16. And now... It gives you a preview option, so if they scroll over it, so I'm going to start fast way to start an online business. So we're going to do that for the preview. Now, once you've got that created, you have several options up here at the top. You can just save it and do nothing with it. You can save it and test, which if you save it and test, what it's going to do is it's going to, you put in your email, it will send that email to your email, just you, and then you can see and confirm everything's working in that email. And we're going to do that. I, I recommend doing this before you send anything out to anyone make sure you check your email and make sure that email is the way you want it to be and going to direct to the way where you want to direct it to so we confirm that and it sent the email now you can save and send which it'll automatically save it and just send it out to everybody or you can save and schedule where the save and schedule option you'd click here you'd click your time and you date and it won't send that email out until that time and date has arrived which we're not going to do that now once i've saved and test i want to go to my email here let's go to chrome let's 
pop it up. Here I am. Here I am, baby. Sign, sealed, delivered. I'm yours. Let's check your email. All right, so there's my email. Let's see how it looks. All right. Start an online business name. Now, it's not going to put my name because I'm not on there. It doesn't, it doesn't know, it doesn't know, it's got my email address, but it does, it didn't pull it from the information that's in the system. So it's going to start with that. Okay, this is all looking good. It's legible. All right, click the link. Oh, now the link doesn't work because I didn't put a proper link on there. And I'm going to put it down later and do all that, which, you know, that's something that you don't need to, see, you know, you're not worried about your partner in success, Richard Doc Loves, my picture came up. See that? That is, that is perfect. That's exactly how I want my email to be. I may want a, the first name a little larger, I think, and eventually put that link there that we we can you know what i'm gonna put a we'll put a link and when okay so we'll go back so we'll go back to the email let's do this all right because it's really it's not linked correctly because i didn't put a real address on there so we'd select it we'd edit so we'll do http P.S. Boom, boom, boom. Um, two dot com slash. We'll put an actual address there. And we will do. I will make that larger because I think it just needs to be larger. So we'd select over here, got your font, we'll make that 20, get their attention, like BAM! Here we go. And that spacing is just off, I think. So let's go back there. Okay, so that's a little nicer. All right, let's do this again. We'll do a save and test. And then you add your email into there, you confirm. Now we will go check the email again. And go back. There it is. That's the new one, I believe. And that's the old one. All right. Did it send it? Let me go back. All right, I think we have to refresh. I'm sorry. Refresh. Boop, 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 boop. Why is it got two? All right. Da, da, da. To me, to me, to me, to me. Well, we are experiencing technical difficulties. The email is not coming over again. But needless to say, this is we're just gonna we're gonna nix it here. So but that's nope, we don't want that. That's crazy. We wanna go back to the online. But that's how you're going to start. So we want to save this because I don't want to lose all the work I've done. And then when you exit, here's the email that I created. And from here, if you wanted, you can share, you can edit, you could duplicate, or you can delete it and make changes to the email and send it out to whoever you want to send. That is how you create an email in System.io. I hope you have a fabulous day. Rich Doc here. Start your online business. Start making money online.